Neil Borofsky, Special Inspector General for TARP, came out and said this in a Reddit chat about our current situation. We are, quote, pretty fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's funny because Christina Romer, who was former chair of President Obama's Council of Economic Advisors, when asked about our current economic situation and how much control the banks have and whether it will crash again, said, quote, we are pretty darn fucked. <laughs> okay. Now, back to Borofsky. He explained why we're fucked. Quote, Put this graphic up there. Yeah, the incentives are all still in place for the too big to fail banks to accumulate dangerous amounts of risk in the quest for short term profits with the assurance that if their bets do not pay off, they, and most importantly from the perspective of market discipline and their counterparties' creditors, will be bailed out by the government. Combine that with a lack of accountability for bad fraudulent behavior, and you have a toxic cocktail that will bring out. Uh, bring about another crisis. Regulatory reform did nothing to change those incentives. Look, I want you to take time to think about what he just said there, because that is exactly right. Short-term gains by taking outsized risk with other people's money. And if you're using depositors' money and the government lets you and you take huge leveraged risks, you are going to crash the economy. That is why we are pretty darned fucked and these guys were on the inside. They saw it right there. And when he talked about no accountability, that was earlier in the week. We didn't even know that Goldman Sachs was going to be let off on the worst deals that they made. Is there a time in American history when that sort of uh, group think has happened before and it caused a problem? Like, how far back do you have to go? Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, <laughs> and then you see the story this week. You guys see the story that Obama is getting abandoned by everybody on Wall Street and investment banks. That's right. By, by, these, by this meaningless r regulatory, by, by Dodd-Frank, which does nothing, essentially nothing meaningful. And these guys are all like, we got to get these guys out of office. They're regulating us to death. I mean, <laughs> it's it's crazy. So, so there's only like four companies that are giving Obama more money or the same amount of money. But all those big Wall Street companies, all the big employers, their, their employees are shifting and giving money to Romney. And the people who gave money to McCain in 08 are doubling down, giving even more money to Romney.